I don't know if that's actually like beneficial for Wolf in that matchup, but it sounds like it could at least like mitigate the risk of minecart somewhat. Because I know Sora, I play Sora's one of my mains. His his counter is like well, not necessarily a reflector, but I mean it does change ownership of projectiles to Sora. Um, but the the sword swipe after it also has a hitbox though. So if Steve uses um, the minecart close to Sora to try to knock him away, he can counter it and punish Steve for it. Yeah. I, I've seen Kameme use that uh, a few times, and that's it's pretty interesting for for using that for what is otherwise, I'd say, a kind of a not fun matchup for Sora. But then again, I'd probably just need to play the matchup more. Anyway, we're going Talon and Dice now. Dice is, uh... We're seeing Dice again, second time. Yep. And then 32. Talon pulling out the Game and Watch. Hmm. You don't see interesting character who interesting character I think indeed. is a little overhated. I don't get why I don't, people. Yeah, hate I don't. I don't. I don't see. Although why to be fair, I also think that my main beats Game and Watch. Uh, so. This All right. Is, uh, interesting gameplay. Yeah, very interesting gameplay. Just crouching the laser spam. Talon starting off this game with a full bucket. Yep. You. Immediately getting getting some of these Game and Watch combos here. Yeah, he's yep. he's not gonna be. You, you can't really, you, you, you can't really, you cannot force uh, game the watch to approach like? there. Yeah, See, the, the bucket not actually yeah, doing. The interesting not, thing about bucket is that it more than most like you know every reflector sort of every reflector encounter basically sort of scales based on what it reflects or counters. Right, right. Game and watches I feel like does that to a greater extent than most because like. If you see a Game & Watch bucket... Ooh, oh, did you just see that? Yeah, I did. That oh, was crazy. Yeah, but like, if you see a Game & Watch bucket that has bucketed three Fox lasers, it does almost nothing. But if a Game & Watch bucket takes in like a Samus charge shot, that's going to kill it like 40. That's, yeah, that's really scary. Really scary indeed. But I really like how uh, Talon is using the uh, his, just his crouch in general to just sort of pancake the, um, uh, the laser shots to... Make it so that, no, I am not going to approach you. I know you want me to, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to play by your rules. Yep. I'm Game & Watch. Talon is playing this matchup very well. Very, 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 very well. We're Forcing seeing the Falco to do he's not even at 50%. He's like sub 50% right now. Okay, he's well, playing, he's playing very first. defensively, and DICE is not able to deal with it as well as you would hope. Yeah, and DICE is now close to 100% on his second stock. This is... Uh, that, it's definitely looking like a bit of a matchup check here. He's doing, he's, he's not getting away with some of the things we saw him in that last game, uh, that we saw him play. And it looks like he's fishing oh. for, uh, <laughs> that looks like Talon is fishing for the bucket a little bit. He's probably yeah, well, catching on, a, I think, I think Dice is catching on. Here's to, the thing uh, though, like, if he doesn't get punished for it, why stop? Well, I mean, true, but it looks like, it does, it, it does look like Dice is catching you on. You can though, see so already, maybe. Dice has been thoroughly conditioned to not use laser. Yeah, exactly. Which is probably for the best. Like after that one, that first oil panic there, at the beginning, he's probably like, "Yeah, okay, I don't want to do this yeah, again." Me that message has been received. Absolutely been received. And okay, well, well, well he's, he's still he's throwing doing him out he's every once in a while. But he's being much more careful about where he. Uses yeah, he's him mixing up. him up too. And he's only doing like one at a time, as opposed to like just yeah. like two or being three. Being a lot less predictable. He's, he's, not using, like, he's not using them to approach. He's just using them to try to catch landings. Yeah. Which like, is another way to use laser Against sure. any character with any sort of reflector, you just got to be careful when you use your projectiles. That is true. Yeah, it looks like Talon's trying to ledge trap with a down smash a little bit, and uh, Dice not falling for it. The down, the down tilt not killing. Game & Watch might be light, but that down tilt uh, does take a while to kill. That is true. Unless it varies, in which case, well... It, I mean, it doesn't kill, but it defect, it's de facto a kill confirm if it buries. What are you talking about? Falco's down tilt doesn't bury. No, oh, I was talking about Game & Watch. Sorry. Game & Watch's down tilt doesn't bury either. Oh, I was talking about down, down smash. <laughs> are you okay? I don't know if I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we see that Game & Watch dodged another laser by pancaking it again. That's, uh, he's, right. It looks like he's trying to catch on a little bit as well as, like, yeah. when... The mini, like the the short laser bursts are happening. After a rough start, Dice is slowly bringing it back, starting to get get off some very, of those very slowly though. Combos. But this is looking really dicey for him, no pun intended, because he's at 160 percent, and with Falco, that is very dangerous. You're because weak. The pun would have been intended if it were me. Well, I'm not cool. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. 
Oh, oh, the oh, the second oil panic. That's not technically a projectile. Not technically. It feels like it would be, but it's not. Nope. That's just a hitbox. Wait, is splatter shot considered a projectile or I think I think Game and Watch, uh, it's a projectile, but it's not an energy projectile. So Game and Watch's bucket just reflects it rather than absorbing it. Mm, okay, it's really where it's considered a projectile in this game, and what isn't? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, like Joker's uh, gun is not a projectile. It is not a projectile. That is it's just a, a hitbox. It's a physical hitbox. Mm -hmm. It is just a hitbox. And it's also broken. It's also broken, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also funny, so it's, it's so we're glad it's in the game. And also, my main beats Joker, so, so fair, fair. All right, so we uh, so it looks like Dice is taking this to F and D, which is Talon interesting. I'm guessing to... I'm guessing the plat the tri plats were banned. Uh, I I yeah, I think Talon would have banned the tri plats against Dice. Yeah, that is that, probably that a very wise decision. But it's interesting that he's not taking it back to PS2. I yeah, I am a little surprised to see FD here. Yeah, but I'm. I don't know. Maybe Falco can deal with it a little bit. I mean, Falco's jump height is really good, so That's he doesn't true. he doesn't always need the platforms anyway. But it's still but the, same the platforms time. definitely don't hurt him in the slightest. Yeah. So it's interesting that he's not go he's not opting to go back to PS2. But I mean, hey, I guess we don't see T we don't see FD all that often, honestly. Maybe as much dice. of the reputation that it has, we don't actually see FD in like bracket that frequently. I go to FD a lot. Because I certainly don't. <laughs> because uh, FD is one of the ninja's best stages. I usually go to Kalos because I like the platforms on the sides and just how wide it is. But anyway, the uh, but yeah, FD you just don't see it too frequently. But oh, we see a drag down fair oh. combo, not quite connecting the back air there. Landing hitbox of four or getting Talon off. Oh yeah, why does that have landing hitbox? That's what I want to know. It's it, it it definitely gets me. Me off guard it catches me off guard too, and same with Byleth. Byleth also Byleth's has this nair. very, very similar landing hitbox with uh, with their nair. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, the okay. I just yeah. It that ended up like, killing. That looks like hard di in as well. Yeah, that was mm. like that. That sent straight. Yeah, up. and plus he was slightly airborne too, so that probably did not hurt. That probably did not help him. Oh, was that a dash attack? Uh, Getting I off ledge again. I need to stop blinking. Yeah, I need to do that too. I just need to keep my eyes open. Oh, punishing the Hey Flat oh. Stanley. I love I love how oil panic makes your uh the opponent like like all inky, like in black and all that. Like yeah. they just got like they're just covered in oil. And then it disappears immediately. Yeah, which is uh Ooh, okay. That's so that's what I was talking about when we were like having two you know, separate conversations. See, the buried to the forward smash. That's that's the whole like you go to a restaurant, uh you go to a restaurant, you you say, I'll take the usual. They say, what are you talking about? You've never been here before. You show them your business card that says Game & Watch Main, and they give you down smash, F smash. Yep, that is very much one of his most common kill confirms, because it, it's, because it comes, because it does come out really fast. Down, down smash does and come also, out pretty fast. And also, it has no end lag. That's, that's the other reason why it's that good. Well, it looked like there was some end lag. It, very little, though. Like... Get the risk reward ratio is definitely in the favor of reward, is what I'm saying. I could probably agree with that a little bit. That's the reason that move is so good. And also, it's fairly safe on shield. It looked like it was fairly safe because he didn't really bother trying to punish it. All right, looks. Oh, grabbing him out of shield there. Definitely, uh, he's definitely putting a lot of pressure on dice. I don't know if this, maybe this is a pretty difficult matchup for uh, for Falcon. I don't know. This might just be a matchup check. Who knows? Never know. Okay, down tilt I'm killing. I'm not going to speak definitively on matchups that I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I'm just going to assume it's a matchup thing. Ooh, trying to catch the... Ooh, oh my god, he's got hit a chair! With, hit him with the chair. All right, finishing see, that, that game one, up with a JV2. See, that one's not a Minecraft reference because there aren't chairs in Minecraft. Unless you download certain mods. Well, yeah, but anything can be a Minecraft reference if you factor in mods. Literally anything. Well, then everything is a Minecraft reference. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> QED. All right, looks like Dice is not. Does Dice know any other characters besides Falco? I don't know, but I don't. I don't care. I mean, what? I mean. Don't fix what isn't broken, of course. But it looks like here's the thing. I know. I know you play like three characters, but <laughs> I, I I used to be just a, a young link one trick, believe it or not. So I understand what it's like to one trick. I just 
I feel like that's kind of a rare breed, though. Not everyone one tricks. It's not particularly common. But if he does have another pocket, it probably would have been. I don't know. It might be. No, better. I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think Dice wasn't doing. Wasn't struggling enough to warrant a character change. I mean that's. I mean that's probably fair. But he's also taking it back. To, oh, okay. Okay, that's that is a Falco combo that exists as well. Sure is. Ending that stock. Well, maybe not early. It was with l er, lower than 45 quickly. seconds. But it's. Uh, I think that's stock quick. It's, de it's definitely more quick than how he's been finishing off these stock, these first stocks in other games too, which is probably what he needs. Telling you, and he's that just keeping him in disadvantage. Like he was just in disadvantage for like 10 seconds. Yep. Dice and he's still in disadvantage. A right now. Like Talon just can't catch a break in this game. Maybe FD is the play. Who knows? I I don't know what Game and Watch looks for in the stage. I I don't. I'm guessing. Oh gee, I'm guessing platforms because up air can be uh, you know quite a uh, you know quite a good juggling tool and platforms just kind of get in the way of you getting away from that. I guess. Ooh, Ooh I okay. Think I was oh, that was really good di then. I, that looked like down and away. I think. Oh, okay. Never mind. Down tilt's gonna kill. Game watch being a light character. Very light character indeed, but so is Falco. That's the other thing. So that's not particularly a disadvantage in this matchup. Where did that? Where does that turtle come from? I uh, don't know. Who is that turtle, and why does Mr. Game Watch keep him in his pocket? I don't know, but that poor turtle. That's got to be animal cruelty or something. But then again, that so is that! Animal cruelty on Falco! Falco spiking sure him on ledge. You're right about that one. That that was certainly something. There was <laughs> definitely something. I don't think I've ever seen Game & Watch spike with that before. Or like, at least, on, at least on ledge. Times. I think I have. It's just rarely. It's it's pretty rare because usually it's it's kind of easy to telegraph a little bit. He probably just getting I some don't know. Nair strings here. Yeah, getting some nair strings and it looks I don't know. Dice is pretty comfortably ahead right now. Oh 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 okay. Up tilt to back air. Not quite getting a. Wait, does back air have a sour spot? Uh, Falcos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looked like a hit with the sour spot there. Not so it wasn't didn't quite kill. All right. Looks like he's trying to. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That was not the sour spot. That was definitely not the sour spot, no. That's the one that Very kills. decisive game from Dice there. He's going to need two more games of that yep. in order to win this set. The reverse 3-0 is in the cards, potentially. Potentially, but, but especially he with... Or did he get a bad shuffle? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, they're bringing it back to FD. That's interesting. I think I'm both okay. players are fine with FD, I guess. I, I guess they are. I mean, first game was like, what, PS2? I think, and then to switch to FD and then FD again, and now we're going to game four at FD. I like FD. I mean, it's, it's a cool stage. All right, we're seeing, uh, okay, Talon's keeping him in the air. Oh, oh. and keeping him... Whoa. Okay, okay. We're setting neutral. That's probably a very wise decision to do. Okay, dare on shield, not safe, especially with Game Watch's very fast up B out of shield, which is like what, frame one? Uh or is I, it two? I think he has frame frame one in invincibility, but the hitbox doesn't come out until like frame gotcha, two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well more uh, I guess more or less it still technically comes out frame one. Yeah. Effectively. I could pull up ultimate frame data again if you want. I mean, you <laughs> could do that, I would not be opposed. But either way. Probably not something you want to use Dare on on Shield for, on Game and Watch. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, he's he's recovering. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Looked like he was trying to go for another cheeky down air spike there. Not quite connecting it. It's real. It's kind of hard to hard to. Ooh, okay. A, ooh, we're seeing some pretty nice Falco combos there. All right, Dare on Shield again. Probably not not good. Oh, almost connecting with that up smash. Oops. Well, there's the there's the footstool that. Probably did nothing, but okay. Of course, neutral to continue. Game Watch's uppy is active on frame three. Oh, it's on frame three, and okay. it's invulnerable on frames five to thirteen. So it's actually not invulnerable until frame five. I actually thought it was invulnerable earlier. Interesting, but it is a frame three out of shield option. That's that's basically as good of an out of shield option as you can get because you have a because you know you have a jump squat for like aerials out of shield. Yep. And it's just uh yeah yeah, that's it's, it's it's pretty good. It's it's really good. 
I cannot think of an aerial that comes out frame one that would make it come out at about the same time. All right, so we're seeing kind of similar of a game to like the first two, honestly. Ooh, okay. Surviving that fair. Talon recovering low. Oh, not getting buried by that. Kind of getting hit by the, uh, uh, by the, by the arms of, of that attack. This was the actual head. Trying to fish for that down down tilt, not down spike. What am I talking about? Oh, I just zoned out for a second. Oops. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's what I get. Uh, that's what happens when I'm the one talking. I guess all the time. No, I think it's just because I'm watching Game and Watch. Oh, it's, just, it's just that mes mesmerizing, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's what the joke I was making. Also. Dice has not used laser that much this whole game either. He's probably yep. caught on a little bit to definitely the oil panic got thing. Thoroughly conditioned. From thoroughly that conditioning. Game. Yeah, he was definitely written to, for sure. All right, not really. Oh, okay, okay. He was trying to. That's one. Even with the that's rage, not quite killing there. Not quite killing. Okay, that that's should kill. kill. That forward air is gonna take it. Yeah, one twelve percent though. That's um. Definitely an uphill battle here for Dice. Very, very uphill. And Dice can't afford to lose a game. He cannot afford it. He still has at least one more stock after this. And but I don't know if that's really something that he winner, wants. And this is winner, so whoever loses here does, can make a loser's run still. That is true. Game watch landing with down air. That's another classic. Ooh, he's got a chair, but that's not going to kill. Are you referencing something? I think it's like WWE or something. It's like, oh, he's got a chair or something. Gotcha. That, that sounds I don't plausible. actually watch it, but it's it's, it's like a meme. That of. sounds plausible. <laughs> Ooh, oil okay. panic missing. The one oil panic that has not hit. I'm guessing it just kind of kept aiming into it to try to bait it out or something so it just disappear. And it looked like it paid off a little bit. But, okay, get up attack. Oh. Punishing the, the, the down smash laser. charge. Oh, okay. Point Drag landing. down there to down smash. Interesting. Okay, we're, we're definitely seeing Talon down. trying to ledge trap with down with down smash, which is. I think Talon's just trying to land a down smash because F smash will kill. That is true, but off stage, I don't think it's gonna bury. Okay, then okay, that I I can I can probably see. Okay, if he can take the stock here, then he'll be technically a better state than he started. In Ooh, that the was a good stock. landing. Oh, yeah. Using the bomb to cover the landing. Man. I like it. Ooh, parrying the back air. That's that was a very good move. Sending him back off stage with the jab. Oh. Ooh, okay. That things side are B, happening. Side B is a... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, that up smash has in has invincibility. It sure does. And that was not a good time to use that back air, unfortunately. He's probably, yep. he's probably wanting to get...